Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the appearance of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative energies, all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, uh, so shall it be. Okay. Judgment is final. Our T card is opening up the tarot reading is the boat. Okay. And this is either a sign that you may discover something good or something bad. So some type of truth may be revealed to you, whether intentionally or unintentionally. Someone may want to communicate with you and bring some clarity into a situation because a lot is going on possibly behind the scenes that a lot of you may not be privy to. So anyway, someone may be taking some type of action to reveal something to you in order to close this chapter, right? So that's what's going on. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. There's absolutely someone that is choosing to listen to their intuition. You may have a high priestess here. Here, that has foresight of something that's going to be taking place there's some type of ending going on behind the scenes you could have a king of wands that's been working with a king, queen of cups king of pent a uh, queen of pentacles behind the scenes uh, this collaboration collaboration or coming together whatever they want to call it is over there's a lot of emotions going on behind the scenes it's like people were trying to steal something from you and it's just not going according to plan they may have hired someone new or someone old that used to work with them as far as trying to take something that belongs to you assets devices and things like that and it's not going to go according to plan or it's not going according to plan if there was some type of attempt to block two people from coming together it's not happening because someone now has foresight and is listening to their intuition someone is no longer ignoring their intuition they are choosing to listen to their inner voice in order to have fulfillment so someone could be yeah i was going to say someone could be walking away so someone could be walking away from a community they don't care anymore what people are saying so they're taking action basically to bring balance into a situation you may want to be careful with this king of wands there is something here where yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Be careful with this King of Wands. There's some type of malicious intent this man has for you as far as coming towards you. Someone may be feeling very bitter. Someone may be feeling really soured. May have lost a lot of money, a lot of connections, all kinds of stuff. So he wants to come towards you to try to defeat you. This man is already defeated. You've already defeated defeated this person. You may not even be aware of it. You may have defeated a whole clothing, a whole collaboration. Two women, one man defeated in trying to take your abundance from you, trying to cause you a loss, but now they're having to cut their loss and move on. This is how it was always destined to be. The Queen of Pentacles especially is going through a lot of emotions behind the scenes. This woman just did not see things turning out this way, but this is how it was always destined to be. This collaboration is absolutely over. There's a lot of turmoil going on behind the scenes. These people could be under, in some, could be under some type of investigation someone is uh yeah 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 <laughs> yeah there's something going on behind the scenes the people these people are going through a tower these towers are coming back to back back to back and this is something they didn't see coming out of the secrets and things like that are exposed if someone in here is still stern on doing some type of ritual it's not going to work it's going to backfire just like everything else backfire someone could be sick and passing away in this group um so they may need your assistance Someone may want to reach out to you. Maybe they think you can heal them. I wouldn't get involved in this matter. Someone needs to figure this out. Or someone could be passing away. An emperor could be passing away because of something they did to you. Or an emperor could be losing a father because of something they did to you. Um, so I would be careful with someone reaching out to you, telling you that they need your assistance. Uh, you know, they're going through this. They're going through that. There are other people that can call for their reason, for their purpose. Someone may just be wanting to reach out to you in order to play on your emotions, pull on your heartstring so they can get you involved in another karmic cycle with them and a group of people just to start something over because they know something is done. There's a chapter that's over of them trying to end you, cause blockages for you because these people have foresight too 
through the, the fact that they go to practitioners and things like that, they have foresight of what lies ahead of you. You have a lot of abundance up ahead of you. And these people, oh, and it's coming in quick, honey. It's coming in quick and hot. And these people are, are, are trying to get you back into some type of cycle where you are second guessing yourself in mental imprisonment. They may even be trying to bring legal issues to you. Someone is very much trapped in their mind because everything they've tried to do to you at this point is not working. I don't know if there's like a lot of money on the line or something like that, but this is absolutely a group of people networking around you behind the scenes to take you down, but they feel miserably because the most high has been interjecting every step of the way, but they've been under some type of illusion and they've been winning. Okay. There's someone in here that's choosing to listen to their intuition as well. It could be a feminine energy. Um, and maybe she wants to move on or she's taking some type of impulsive action that's more than likely going to backfire on her. Yeah. It's absolutely going to backfire on her miserably. Okay. At this point, these people are basically uh, cutting their noses off to spite their face. They may be paying someone to come in and do something to you, or they're trying to pay someone to make something go their way, right? To make sure they have victory. It's not going their way. Okay. It's not going their way. Whatever you're meant to have is heavily protected by the spirit realm. This woman came in sideways, so we're going to put her out here in the reverse. Someone may no longer be working with her. This is why she's out here in the reverse as well. Someone's very crazy. Uh, there could have been some type of truth exposed about her, how she's been trying to keep a man uh, attached to her for his finances and things like that. There's some type of separation between these two. They absolutely used to work together with this freaking three of wands showing up ahead of him and her showing up below him in the reverse. They used to work together or they had some type of uh, friends of benefit situation going on. Maybe she got a little bit more emotionally involved than she should have and he's leaving her behind. He's moving on with his life. Okay. So there's something where she's trying to hold on to this masculine and he's just does not care. This is one of those things where the masculine is like, uh, well, this was just, you know, for fun. I thought you already knew we were just, you know, having SEX. It was nothing more than that. But she is under some type of illusion that they actually had a relationship. It was never a relationship. This man didn't see this woman for anything more than a tool for pleasure, basically. Like she had a purpose. She's fulfilled that purpose. And now he's moving on. She's trying to hold on. So she may be gathered. Oh, honey, this is the absolute truth. She thought she was going to be building a family with this man because he has a lot of resources. She thought she was going to use this man for his resources. Oh, and then there's a big tower for her. Oh, no, he does not want to be with me. So she has to cut her loss. He's cutting his loss and moving on and balancing things out in his life. And she's trying to make this difficult for him, trying to cause burdens and things like that. They're both going through some type of ending, but they're both under judgment. This is absolutely clarity. This was an absolute toxic connection between them. He's trying to go from this into this and manifest a new reality for himself right? New beginnings, you know, rewards uh, out of things that you put uh, time and energy in. Yeah. He wants to grow, not be stuck with her. So there's something here where this man is absolutely trying to move on. And this Jizzy Bell here that he know her position, uh, what, 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 what do they call it? A pass around uh, B I T C H. This is one of those. I don't think she realized that that was her purpose in his life. And the fact that this revelation is out is causing a lot of problems behind the scenes because you may have people that are trying to encourage this man to stay with him, with her. He doesn't have any emotions for her. This will be possibly one of those kind of women or more than likely a, 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 a blackmailing him, telling him that if he doesn't stay with her or something like that, she's going to tell the community that they had some type of one night stand or they had a secret relationship, secret rendezvous is what I'm hearing. Something like that. That man don't care. He does not care. He's moving on. This whole group is fighting behind the scenes, honey. It's a chaotic scene behind there. You don't need to be worried about it. You're fighting because balance is being brought into this situation. You know, the, the wheel is moving in that direction. You have opportunities coming your way, new beginnings. And this is what they were trying to block. More than likely, oh yeah, he's removing himself. He's getting away from these people. More than likely, she thought if she kept putting it down on this man or whatever the heck she calls it, it was going to uh, 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 keep him trapped. 
you know, like the SEX was so good that he would never want to leave. He would just keep causing stagnation for himself through her and say, well, you know what? She fulfills my needs. So I'm just going to stay right where I am. And he said, no, 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 no. That's enough. I can get this from somewhere else too. Okay. That's all it was. And I don't, I think someone is having a hard time accepting that. That that's all it was for him. That we had a fun time. We had a good time. Okay, now you can go. You know, you. I'm telling you, this is the absolute truth. This is some type of, type of tower this woman is going through behind the scenes. She thought a masculine was going to choose her. She thought a masculine was going to choose her for either a love offer. I don't know, a marriage, some type of commitment, whether in business or love. And he's not choosing her. He does not want to. To be with this woman and she's going through some type of ending behind the scenes as well when it comes to her finances she's having a hard time balancing things out whatever someone was intending for you behind the scenes is exactly what she is going through i am telling you that's what she's going through this woman wanted people out here lying to you deceiving you have you out here in toxic connections? This sick, this sucker here is nothing but toxicity in flesh. This woman is nothing but toxicity in uh, personified. Okay, and there's nothing she's getting out of here. She's trapped. Her friends are trapped. She may have a friend that's been playing along with her as far as fooling this masculine that she was something she was not, and the whole truth is out. I don't know what the heck this is. Like it's like a group of women came together, came up with a plot, and they thought they had everything figured out, and it's not working. And source is telling me not to hold back. They said to go out. These are some low down women that have been just doing too much behind the scenes, and they're going through endings. Every plan they had failed. Everything, even the backup plan, anything you can think of that these people are planning or plan for you all failed miserably, and that's because of source. So now they may be out here trying to pay someone new to come in and cause you an ending. Maybe they want to pay someone to come in and gaslight you. Like you're supposed to meet them and they're supposed to be like, oh, we're twin flame, we're this and we're that. Oh, you know, I need you to heal me. You know, I've always wanted to be healed. I've always been into spirituality. It is not. Okay. This man has gone through some type of healing or is trying to go through some type of healing, but they want to keep him trapped. I'm telling you, these women are not doing too good. This queen of pentacles is mentally trapped in her head. Uh, she's in some type of self-imposed imprisonment because she's going through endings. It says something is not playing out the way she thought it would. This was supposed to be you, but this is her. Honey, it's a rude awakening. Nothing good is going on for these people. Nothing good. A queen of cups is being exposed as someone very toxic and deceitful, very dishonest, right? Don't got nothing going on for herself. Someone may be even being controlled from behind the scene by another character. There could be a masculine that's controlling this woman to do certain things in the environment, in the community that she's a part of. And all of that is going to be exposed to everyone. This masculine, whether it's this king of wands or someone else, he's seen everything and he's just like, mm -mm, mm -mm. he's distancing himself. Like he's starting to see things for what they are. And he's choosing to listen to, to his intuition because not listening to his intuition before caused him a huge, something really bad, caused him a lot of either money peace of mind. Someone may have even tried to steal from him. You have this queen of pentacles here stuck in something that she can't get out of. Lady, this woman is losing her mind. She's losing her mind and her, someone can't keep it together behind the scenes. That's all I'm saying. If these three meet, these four meet, whatever this is, because I feel like there's a queen of, oh, 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 oh it, uh, it's all four of them out here going through it. They are going through it. If these three are still meeting up, oh, it's a lot of emotions going through that meeting, meet, going on at that meeting. It's a whole lot going on at that meeting. Tempers are everywhere. Tempers are flying off the rolling. Uh huh. People are yelling. You were supposed to do this, and you said this was gonna happen. You should have done this. It's not my fault. Blah, 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 blah. It's just too much going on behind the scenes. They're all toxic. They are all toxic. There's some type of secret they were trying to keep and it's all out. 
This is like people come up with some type of devious plan to destroy someone else's life, block someone else's future. And they thought they had everything figured out. They said, if we do this, 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 and this, if we connect with that uh, institution that they are a part of, we connect with that one and we tell them that they're mentally retarded or something, or we tell them they're sick or something, they're not mentally stable, people are going to work with us and we're going to take them down. It's not going according to plan. There's something in here. There's a huge glitch in the matrix these people didn't see coming. Okay? They were trying to steal something from you. There's a plot to steal something or there was a plot to steal something and it did not go according to plan. These people had a meeting about this. Yeah, it did not go according to plan. They were supposed to steal something from you and have you living like this. But this is what they're going through. They were supposed to steal something from you, whether your money, your business, something, your intellectual property, and it's not going according to plan. Something is being looked into. If someone stole something and said that it belonged to them, oh, you best believe it's being reviewed because there's too much truth out now. There's too much truth. This is like four mean girls or three mean girls get together to bully someone and the whole time they're bullying you, on the surface, they're making it seem like they genuinely care about you. They're doing something out of the kindness of their heart. They're really concerned about you. This masculine is starting to figure out why some of these women may have been asking about your well-being. How is Maria doing? Have you heard from Maria? Someone in here has been stalking you for a long time and she was lying saying that she didn't know what was going on with you. People are finding out that she's been stalking you online and she's embarrassed and everything. Like these people are going through it. Uh, they are going through it behind the scenes. Going through it. Okay. For trying to steal from you. And they're trying to get away from their problems now. They say, where are you going? when You can't get away from this. You cannot get away from this. This was a whole collaboration. This could be a whole community for some of you that were doing this. A whole community, a whole couple. There's a married couple that could be going through a divorce uh, for doing something to you. You have a king, king of cups in here going through an ending as well. Having a hard time healing emotions all over the place. He's showing up in the reverse Beneath the three of freaking sores, that's alarming as heck. Someone is going through hell on earth. Someone created, I'm being corrected to say that someone created hell on earth for themselves. So there's no need to feel sorry for this person. Someone was guided in the right direction and they rejected that. It's like someone traded their peace of mind in for treats, for goodies, for toxicity. For a toxic collaboration, a toxic partnership. Now he's trapped, may have legal issues coming in, can't freaking find any help because the people he surrounded himself with, the people he formed his alliance with, uh -huh, his alliances with, don't have no good intentions for him. They don't care. Someone is finding out the hard way that the people he's with do not give two, uh, two ish, excuse me, two S H I T S about him. So he's starting to see things from a higher perspective now, but it's too late because there's no one there to help him. Someone could be out here homeless. Maybe now he wants to come in and what play with your emotions, come in and give you a friendship. You don't want nothing from this. This is a, this is a night of cups, cups energy. What you going to do with that collective? What are you going to do with that? Nothing. This isn't uh, summer school. This is not summer camp. This is the kind of offer this person wants to come in with because their life is upside down. They're going through some type of betrayal behind the scenes, unable to heal. So now, they're, now that they're going through a betrayal, now they know how to go within and do some introspection. Now they know how to go within and say, oh, maybe I shouldn't go this, this direction. It's not going to end well for me. Now they want to take a new path, but they're honey. Someone don't want this message out. Someone is burdened out here. They may be looking for you for help. They may be trying to get a hold of you. Okay? You can't help this person. Someone made their bed that I'm laying in it. They were happy when they were celebrating with these people for your downfall. These are people that got together to plan your downfall. Some of you shouldn't even be alive today. Some of you should not even be walking out and about today. These people were planning to have you out of here. Okay? So them coming to you for help is a slap in the face. 
you got your vict victory by the help of your ancestors. Wasn't no one helping you. No one was helping you. Everybody turned their back. And they were all celebrating at your downfall. And they don't understand how it is you're still here. They're like, how is this person still alive? You, some of you don't get it. You shouldn't be here. You should not be waking up. You shouldn't be breathing. Okay? I'm telling you, you shouldn't be here. You should not be here. This is what they were planning for you all. This is what they were planning for you all. And the whole truth is out. Look at that. I told you he was going through betrayal. Look at the car that came right after him. This man is out here. Out. Homeless. With legal issues. Okay? So not only is he going through betrayal, he's homeless. He's losing a home. Maybe he stole this home. Whatever this is, someone is out in the cold. Whatever institution or community he was working with, whatever group he was working with against you, they are leaving him out in the cold. They're rejecting him. They're rejecting him. Now he knows his place. Now he knows his place. And now he's living in some type of fear. He doesn't know what his future holds. Someone may be asking himself, what has my life become? This is the path you chose. So you got to keep asking yourself that until you find out. Source is not going to tell you. They're just going to tell you to go within. Do you know that four of cups energy? Sit down right there and think about it. Let us know when the answers come to you. Okay. I mean, all of these women are going through it. The queen of swords is going through an ending herself. Someone has legal issues coming in. She may have tempered with something, may have committed some type of crime because of some type of impulsive action they took behind the scenes. All these people have it go, oh my gosh. All of them are going through endings. Every last one of them. And they thought they had gotten away with something. They thought they had it well planned out. This queen of swords is the one that acts from behind the scenes. Someone's very cold, cunning, calculating. Not very smart, but very, yeah, not smart, but very cold, cunning, calculating, deceitful, a thief. This is nothing but a thief. This woman may have paid someone to cause you an ending, like have you on a life, and they were celebrating at the thought of you being on a life. Someone accepted the offer, and they were celebrating. Oh, but they didn't see straight. They didn't see correctly. They didn't have a clear vision of what was really taking place. They like clarity. They're like, yes. Yes, you know how those idiots be high-fiving each other? They be out here high-fiving each other like Dora high-fives her little friends in her show. Yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. And look at them. Look at them going through it. And it's just starting. These people wanted to cause stagnation in you having any type of wish fulfillment. Someone seeing you as wish fulfillment. You know why they're coming after you so hard? It's nothing but jealousy, intimidation. Okay, it takes four of them to be one of you. You are every queen in the deck and then got the audacity to be a high priestess. And they've all tried, tried their best to pretend to be each aspect of you. And they can't master it. They don't know how one person they do not know how one person can possess, can, can embody all aspects of, a, of, a, of the empress. How one person can be a queen of pentacles, be the queen of cups, queen of wands, queen of swords, be a high priestess all at once and be spectacular at it. Be spectacular at it. Yet alone, all they have to do is be one aspect of that empress. They can't do it. They can't do it. This woman here paid someone to do something behind the scenes. She was working with someone. Either work with a co-worker of yours or something like that to keep a man. She thought she was going to receive a commitment from this man. He's not giving her a commitment. He's not giving her a commitment. Someone is choosing to be practical about something, especially when it comes to their abundance He's being practical. People are being practical now and separating themselves from these people. Especially, I don't know what it is with this Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, there goes that Four of Cups. These people are being sat down. You got to sit down and think about what you did. You know, that's how our parents be treating us. 
when we step out of line and we F up royally, yeah, there goes our parents. I.e. the spirit realm got us under judgment. They're under judgment. Got them out in time out. I'm telling you. They got these people out in time out. So sit down there. Think about what you did and why you shouldn't do it next time. Yeah. Legal issues coming in. There's a court case coming up or going on right now. And it's not going well for these people. Ain't nothing going well. Someone may have even paid a court official to make something go in their favor. And it's a disappointment because the truth is out. They've lost money. Someone miscalculated. It's what, oh, yeah. Someone miscalculated horribly. Someone bribed too many people. Someone got too many people involved in something. Someone spent too much money. Could be their queen of pentacles trying to steal your destiny, trying to steal something that belongs to you. And they're still looking at it like, I got to get this. She cannot have it. He cannot have it. But you are going to have what's yours, collective. Oh, yeah. You are going to have what's yours, and they're going to have to cut their loss and move on. They're going through too many endings. They're being forced to walk away. Spirit is forcing these people to walk away and put an end to this madness. Okay? My goodness. My goodness. Yeah, there goes your Ace of Pentacles offer. This is what they're trying to block from coming in, but it's being protected by the spirit realm. All of these people are under judgment. Absolute judgment. I knew it was going to come out. There it goes. They're all under judgment. In time out. They say oh, nothing you all wish for is going to be granted to you. Nothing. All of your spell works, all the manipulations, everything, nothing is going to work out. No plans of the enemies against you all will ever come into fruition. It is all being rejected. All of these people are into black magic. They go to do rituals. All the rituals and offerings are being rejected by the universe. They go into nature to do spell works, to do rituals. It's being rejected. You're being disrespectful to those spaces you're going in. Going into nature to do spell work. What the heck are you doing? In, do, why are you doing rituals in, in, in Mother Nature? Mother Nature don't got time for that stuff. They're trying to bring ba balance into everything. You see what's been going on around the world? People are trying to destroy the world. And the universe is stepping in and bringing balance right back into it. What the heck is wrong with you people? They're in time out. Especially this Queen of Cups. There's something going on with this woman. Someone does not want to be in a toxic connection with someone anymore. This woman could be going through some type of separation. She's being seen as nothing but a freaking liar. Someone lied a lot. Someone lies a lot. This could be the one that's been stalking you, acting like she doesn't know what's been going on. This is the one that acts that she's a friend, but she's not a friend. This is the one that pretends that you're more than likely copying their personality and you don't know what the heck is going on with this person. Don't know where this person is. Don't even see this person. But they're out here telling people that you are trying to be them. Okay? And then you have this airhead here thinking that she's a better version of you, that she's the best option between you and her. So he should pick her. And he's like, nah, 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 nah. I don't want nothing to do with you. You were good for one thing and one thing only. You fulfilled that purpose. Thank you and goodbye. Okay? And you have this one here that did some type of fraudulent activity, forged some type of document or something like that. This is someone that uses mental manipulation. She manipulates. She may have had some type of intellectual gift as far as spirituality is being stripped away from her. It's being taken away. So what they wanted for you is what they're going, in, going through. They're all under judgment, as I said. Someone may want to apologize to you in this group, ask you for forgiveness. Honey, please. The devil is a lie. This is the God honest truth. Someone wants to apologize to you because their life is upside down. They're under some type of curse. Their life is going in like a, it's like a tornado. Came in and just whoosh, everything away. Like it took everything away with them. And they don't know what to do, where to start off. This is one of those situations you go out of your way to destroy someone's life. Because what I'm getting is that these people wanted you in poverty. Wanted you in like. Wanted you being broken hearted, destroyed, disappointed in life. 
not for a short period of time. They wanted this to be for the rest of your life. So guess what? This is going to be them for the rest of their life because this is the energy they put out there. Okay, but they go out of their way to do all of this, trying to end you, break you, and then they're sitting back and just waiting for the results of their malicious work, and it doesn't go according to plan. Meanwhile, they don't realize every time they took action and trying to take something from you, the universe was taking something from them. They said, oh, you want to take their car? We're taking your car. You want to take their money? We're taking your money. You want them to lose their job? We're taking your job. Someone in here is about to take some type of impulsive action, and it's going to lead to some type of just I, I don't even know what word to use but it's gonna be that final blow that they just won't be able to come back from they won't be able to come back from and it'll be it, it, i'm telling you they won't be able to come back from it someone is about to make some type of ridiculous impulsive decision to take some type of action against an earth angel and this is going to be it you're going to fail first of all but the ending you're going to go through is going to be ridiculous this is like the the, the the stuff like horror movies are made out of you won't know which way to go you may be walking out here feeling like you've lost your mind people may think that you've lost your mind and you need to be put in a freaking asylum or something like that you're about to go through it nothing good is going on for these people nothing good someone may have legal issues coming in someone may be passing away there's just nothing good going on for these people these are a group of friends by the way these are a group of friends they've been around each other for a long time long time they've been around each other for a very long time and there is nothing good going on for them losing family members Losing jobs, resources, money. I'm telling you, they are under nothing but judgment from this universe. Your ancestors have called judgment in a situation. And their ancestors have backed away from them. They don't have any protection. None of them have protection at all. I'm telling you, this whole group is under judgment. And they're going to keep being under judgment for a long time. Yeah, they went from celebrating to uh, this. Uh, look at that. What is so worthy of you causing mayhem in your own life? Like you waking up, e waking up every day and deciding, I'm going to destroy my own life today. Yeah, I'm going to destroy my own life today. Someone in here is absolutely sick. Oh, the King of Cups. This King of Cups could be someone you are very much familiar with. It could be like an ex-lover or someone you had some type of contract with. Maybe you met this person and you two sparked some type of friendship. But he's sick behind the scenes. Someone may be passing away. Someone may have some type of like deadly disease or something like that. Or they're just really mentally unstable. Like someone may be looking for you. Like someone may be looking for you. With this freaking death and full of source out here, someone is looking for you to end you. He said, I'd be damned if I sit here and watch her, watch him step into some type of new relationship, step into abundance. Someone don't want you to be fruitful. You know why? They told everybody you were an idiot. Yeah, he's burning. He don't tell everyone you were an idiot. You know, you're, you're, you're legally retarded and things like that. I'm trying to say the word in a way that YouTube doesn't end up bending me, bending me. But this man got out here and tarnished someone's image. And the image is not sticking because people are looking into things instead of just taking things at that uh, face value from him and the rest of these clowns and two and two are not adding up anymore. And they're like, wait, you told us this person was dumb. You told us this person was sick. Someone told people you had a mental illness. And now they're finding out you don't have a mental illness. He's actually the one with a mental illness. Well, you look at that. Someone may have told people you were delusional and it's coming out that he's actually the one that's delusional and having a hard time letting go of you. He's burdened about you receiving an offer from someone else. Okay. And this is why he's been so stern on destroying your path, destroying your image. So now he wants to come in and gaslight you. Someone is looking for you, but cannot find you. They will not be able to find you. They are being blocked out of your energy because whatever contract you have with this person is over. Someone's going to have to do some introspection and take a different path because the path that leads to you is not a path that's available to him or her. 
because you know energy is fluid in tarot. You're heavily protected. This man, this woman, King of Cups energy has legal issues going on behind the scenes. Someone may have committed some type of fraud, owe people a lot of money. Okay, this is someone you had some type of contract with. You were supposed to have success with this person, but they threw it away to collaborate with toxic people. They made something look really good for, for him. He may have partnered up to with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, had some type of relationship going on with her. Someone may have uh, even said that they were pregnant by him. Turned out they weren't even pregnant by him or the baby's not his. Something like that is going on behind the scenes. And she also had a relationship going on with this queen of king of wands. The, the friends with benefits. That you, honey, it's a hot mess to come. It's been a whole love triangle and neither of them knew they were in a love triangle. But she knew. She knew it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This twin flame relationship is coming into, into fruition. It's absolutely coming together. Two people that are higher level soulmates or are twin flames are coming together. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop it. Someone is awakening. Whoever your divine masculine is. Yeah, he's awakening. He went through some type of revelation, some type of rude awakening. Okay? Whoever your divine masculine is, whether it's this king of wands or someone else, is going through an awakening. Let source don't shook someone up. He said, you need to get the heck up. You are with, yeah, you need to get up, get your confidence together. I don't know if someone struggle with their confidence. You know, sometimes people, they see men, me included. We have this idea, like when we see men, we think that they just have it together because they're men. Forgetting the fact that the, you know, the, 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 that society has programmed them to be stoic, show no emotions and things like that. So even when they're hurting, we never know because they don't voice it. And God forbid they end up with a feminine energy like this that's not really there to support them in order to heal and teach them how to heal or even listen to them when they need someone to listen to. When we see them, we assume they have everything together, but they're hurting on the inside. I'm getting that about a masculine here. Someone is very much in touch with his emotional side, but the people he's been with, the person he's been with, is not someone that's emotionally aligned. They're not aligned in any way, shape, or form. So he he's has all these emotions and things like that, not for her, but when he's hurting and things like that, and she doesn't know how to fix that, she doesn't know how to heal that person. So it may have developed some type of anger within this masculine because he's surrounded by a lot of bitter and angry people out of touch with their emotions. So in some way, he's learned how to adapt where he's kind of denying his emotions, but he's hurting on the inside. But physically, when you see him, he looks well put together. You'll see him and say, oh, wow, what a man. But then he's nothing but a hot mess beneath the surface. That's because someone's emotional side has been neglected for decades. Years is what I'm hearing. It has been neglected for years because there's some crazy woman, unhinged creature he's been with, abusing his freaking emotions, yelling at him, arguing with him, all kinds of stuff. Someone thinks she's both the man and the woman in a relationship or something like that for some of these people. There's a masculine that deals with a woman that thinks she's the man in the relationship and the woman at the same time. Well, darling, if he wanted to be with a man, he wouldn't have gotten with you. So you need to make it make sense. That's for a masculine in this karmic uh, community. Can you imagine that? A woman trying to be you in the relationship. What, what's the point of you being with a woman then? You might as well go be with a man. Man. Come, yeah, this man. This is this man beneath the surface. This is this man beneath the surface. OK, and whoever he's with or has been with the people he's been with don't have any of that going on. I'm telling you, they don't have any of that going on. And this is why he's leaving with no remorse whatsoever. That sucker said, I'm out of here. I'm gone with the wind, bus line. That man is gone and has no regrets about it. He said, thank you. This is the. This is what I needed to know. This is what I needed to see. This is what I needed to hear. I'm out. I'm done. There's something where, I don't know, a group of people had a masculine afraid 
of you, high priestess. They had this man afraid of you. This they told him you were either dark, you were toxic, you were deceitful, you're a liar. You were greedy. They told him all kinds of things about you just so he wouldn't come towards you. Every time he thought about coming towards you, they will come up with some type of story, start telling some type of lie. They may have told him you were sick and all kinds of stuff. And now all the truth is coming out and he's out. They're all going through it, honey. All going through it. All going through it. And he's going for it. He said, I'm going for it. I don't care what you all say. You can say whatever the heck you want. You can tell me she's a, yeah, he's, he's going for it. You can tell me she's a freaking, uh, a serial killer or whatever you want to tell me. I'm still going for it. Okay. Whatever you've been investing in, it's going to pay off. And that's what they didn't want. I'm telling you, he's going for it. He's going for it. Whatever you've been investing in collective is paying off. Some of you are going to be very abundant because of your, uh, 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 uh your gifts, your abilities, and things like that. These people, as much as this, as much as they've been coming after you, a lot of them are actually afraid of you all. Because they know, you already know what they are. You know what they've been doing, so they can't really come to you and be like, Oh, hi, Sally. Long time no see. I've missed you. You're going to be like, I'm busy. You're about to be busy being overbooked and things like that. I'm busy. I have things to do. What do you want? No, you can't be a client of mine. I will not work with you. What do you want? No, I don't want to hang out with you. I got things to do. Again, I'm busy. Okay? What a mess. Some of, the, some of you, this situation has been going on for a long time. And they drug out this long because a masculine refused to open his eyes. Yeah, I said eyes and the freaking owl comes out. He refused to open his eyes. Someone was supposed to see guidance a long time ago or they sought, sought a, a guidance a long time ago and didn't take heed to it. He instead followed blindly uh, uh, behind these people. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. So they've been trying to make your life difficult. It's a rough road. They've been trying to make your life difficult and things like that. But you have been pushing through and you keep pushing through. You keep pushing through. Some of you, you're, you're so abundant. You don't even know how abundant you are. But people have been tempering with your path for so long. You're, you start to believe that you are not enough. But you are. You start to believe that you're not abundant. The universe has turned its back on you. No, it hasn't. No, it has not. Rough road. Prepare carefully before you continue, for it's a long journey ahead. Take precaution, okay? Breakthrough. Look at that. It went from rough road to breakthrough. So if you stick to it, you're going to have your breakthrough. And that's how life is. Nothing that's worth your time is ever going to come easy to you. Things are difficult because there are lessons for you to learn in there. Like, for example, this situation here where people are working together to block two people from coming together or block some type of secret, right? The whole time, all the time it took before the truth could come out, that was time for you to grow. That was time for these people's true character to be exposed. They were being tested and they did not know that. Okay? That's what that is. You got to fix your perspective on certain things. Fix your perspective. Me included. There are things I got to fix my perspective on, my mindset. Okay? So it's not just you all. I'm included in that in life. Period. Breakthrough. Don't let anything stop you from moving forward. Pursue your dreams. I'm telling you. The enemy only comes after you when you have a calling, when you have a purpose on your life. They wouldn't be trying this hard to come after you if you didn't mean something. You didn't have a calling. You weren't worthy if you were not enough. Those are the only kind of people that come after people that actually have a calling on their lives. Why do you think dark workers don't feed off of each other? Okay, put two and two together. Why do you think dark workers do not feed 
off of each other. Okay, thank you. Anyways, I'll see you all in my next read. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.